Um, hi guys, uh, I just want to make a video about petroleum engineering and why it is not a good career to pursue. Um, there are at, like there are no videos or articles about how petroleum engineering is not good. Like there aren't, and I'm I'm shocked. I'm, I really am because it's horrible. I mean, it really is horrible. Uh, I graduated from LSU in 2017, and right now it's 2019 in December, and it's been two years, and I still can't find a job, okay? Now, in that span of time, I have been applying. I will be honest, in the beginning, I was applying a lot more than I have now, than I am now, okay? A lot of my friends... First of all, the friends who did get jobs, they had like 3.8 GPAs, okay? And those guys who got that job, who got those jobs, they are working like 80 to 90 hours a week. No joke. And they're getting paid like what? Like $13 an hour, $14 an hour. Now granted, after a year, then their salary goes way up, okay? But they have no life, okay? Now see, those are for the people who actually do get that one hundred thousand, that you know, hundred thousand dollar salary thing. Okay, that's awesome. Good for them. You know, that that is a very, very, very small amount of people. Very small amount. Um, the valedictorian, valedictorian that graduated in my class, he had a four point four GPA, the highest. You know, whatever it was, it was like a big deal. He just got laid off like six months ago. You know. And it's normal, I guess. It is normal to get laid off in the petroleum engineering industry. My best friend, okay, he's he had the same GPA as mine, like 2.8 GPA, okay? He got an $80,000 job, $90,000 job. He was very lucky. He got laid off in two months along with other people who had just, you know, purchased houses in the nearby job site and they got laid off and apparently they were like crying at the conference room because they, they didn't know what to do. That's what my friend told me. He, he said people were – grown men were crying, you know. So I don't think petroleum engineering, petroleum engineering is a good degree to pursue because there are so many students who have graduated and continue to graduate. The demand is this much. The supply of students – is this month? I, I can't even I can't even fit the screen. It is so bad. It is so bad. Okay, I just want to make that clear. If you honestly, honestly have a genuine interest in petroleum engineering, then go for it. All right. But me, <laughs> I just saw. Oh yeah, look at that highest paying engineering degree. Oh yeah, it's a hundred thousand. Okay, let me go through it. Let me go to it. Let me, let's do it. Come on, you know. 97% of the other students are thinking like me. They just went into petroleum engineering because of the because of the money. That's it. Are you kidding me? Not everyone's interested in it. Now the people who are, those are the people who make really good grades and they actually do enjoy it. But if you don't enjoy it, all right? Then don't then don't go for it. All right, I'm 28 and I am a server. Okay? That's bad. That's bad. Okay. Um, and a lot of people go back to school to get a different degree in which I'm going to be doing in January. Um, I'm going to take a different route because this is ridiculous. It's really bad. It's really, really bad. I cannot stress that enough. Okay. There are some good qualities, but the rest, no. There's way too much competition, way too much. All right, that two, 2010 bubble of like, you know, people are like getting hired, like getting like 80 grand a year for just graduating out of high school, no experience. That's over. That was that was done with. That was just like a like a like a one year thing. And that, that's it. You know, do me a favor. This is a video about how not you should pursue a petroleum engineering degree. I highly recommend not to pursue it. I'm going to say that over and over again. All right, I'm just making this video because there are none out there and it's ridiculous. This is the truth.